In this video, we are doing a stability shoe shootout. What is up, everybody, and welcome to Stability Shoe HQ here at 40 Runs. <laughs> Sorry, I should, I should muck about, but yes, uh, Stability Shoes are the flavour or the topic of this video today. We've got the sort of big hitters from 2023, and we're going to be comparing them, and I'm going to let you know which one I prefer and why. Okay, right, so let's do stats and features real quick. Um, they all weigh about the same, although the Guide 16 is a little bit lighter. The Kayano 30, you've got a 40 mm stack. You've got the 4D guidance system. Yes, 4D, not 4D. In the Wave Inspire 19, you've got the Wave Plate, adding your sort of stability. Look at it there on the uh, medial side. Uh, you've got Energy Foam in here, by the way. You've got full-length Energy Foam, which is kind of cool, and you've got an absolute monster of a carbon rubber. Outside, oh, got mesh uppers by the way. Uh, the uh, guide, and then he said ride. The guide 16's got the Holotech frame still from the ride. You've got power run midsole, really nice upper. Uh, actually, I think this is probably the best upper out of all of these three, by the way. You've got real nice uh, midfoot lockdown with the ride. All shoes fit true to size, by the way. Prices, you can get this for £100, you can get this for under £100, and uh, yes, this is £180. But to be fair, it has just Launched uh, outsole on the Saucony is no good uh, compared to the others. This has got AHA Plus, and like I said, that's got the carbon rubber. Uh, I think I mentioned they fit true to size, uh, and that's probably about it really quick in terms of stats and features. Okay, so things I like about the Kayano 30, I like the increased stack, I like the Flight Foam Blast Plus, I like the ride, I like the uh, reduction of the, um, I suppose way to describe it, all the sort of plastic and rubbish, the light truss system's gone, we've got pure gel in here, and I really like that. Uh, in terms of the Guide 16, I like the simplicity of the shoe, I like just the Power Run midsole, the Holo uh, Frame Tech or whatever it's called, and it's just a great shoe, really easy just to go out and run in. And then with the Mizuno, I like the um, absolute beastness of it. I like the uh, carbon outsole, carbon infused, no, carbon, carbon rubber outsole. I just think it's an absolute beast um, to run in. Uh, I like the energy foam and I like the fit. That's probably about it in terms of likes. In terms of don't likes, I don't particularly care for the wave plate. You can really kind of feel it. Uh, it's a little bit of the same with the hollow frame, but it's not as noticeable. Uh, and on the Kayano, I really don't like the price. Okay, so which one do I prefer and why? And now I'll tell you what, let's put these in uh, one, two, and three. So the bronze award, see what I did then, goes to the Mizuno Wave Inspire 19. I think this is a great stability shoe, it's super comfortable, uh, but I'm not overly keen on the sort of plastic additions. When you see like what the Kayano's doing in the Puma Forever run, uh, I just think the uh, Wave Inspire 19 it needs to get with like, 2023. So then we've got in second place the Kayano 30. Let me get rid of that. The Kayano 30 is in second place. Really like the ride. Really like the increased stack. Really like the Flight Phone Blast Plus. Love the fact that they've lost uh, the light truss system and they've gone for this guidance system. But at 180 pounds, I simply can't recommend it. So the winner, the gold medal, goes to the Guide 16. I think this is just simplicity at its best. If you need guidance, if you need um, stability, shoeness. This is the one to go for. You can pick this up relatively cheap. You can also get the Guide 15, which is pretty much the same shoe, although this has got a better upper, but you can get that for 65 quid on Start Fitness and then use the code 40 runs to get 10% off of that. But I think this is the one to go for. So if you're after a stability shoe and you don't want to go for the Puma Forever run, I think personally you're better off with the Guide uh, 16 or even the Guide 15. 